Good morning, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards, and I have a Christmas card video for you today. I'm using two stamp sets, throwing stuff on the floor, which I need. I'm using the Light Me Home stamp set. It's got two really nice sentiments, and then this big image here. And you can see how I've done it here. And then I'm using some stamps from the snow front. I'm going to use the cabin, the two little birds, and um, uh, this tree, I think. And then I'm using some dies. I'm going to use the stitched um, shapes framelits. And then I'm going to use the uh, rectangle stitched framelits. And then for this, this one here is the scalloped circle. And it is what size? Some things I put away because I don't have very much space. So it's this set of dies, the layering circles framelits, and I used the second to the smallest one here. So that's what I used on here. I dropped something on the floor, so I gotta pick it up. My space is limited, and I need these. Okay. What we're going to do, I'm going to use my um, Stamparatus and to show you how to make a lot of these cards. So what I did was I took a piece of the... Um, this is the shimmery white cardstock, so it's got a shimmer to it. So when you, you probably can't see it on camera, but it's got a sparkle to it. And then I use the red, real red rouge ribbon for my ribbon here. I use the dark real red to give this some color. And then for the birds, I stamped those in the dark real red and then took my um, soft suede marker to give them some feet because they look like they didn't have any legs. So they got legs. And I stamped this in soft suede and this is soft suede. And I'll show you how I did this. And this is what the envelope looks like and then the inside of the card. This is just regular wisp the regular whisper white. And this is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And this piece right here is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to die cut it out with the second, second to the largest of the rectangles after we stamp it. And then I cut, did this with the, I believe I did it with the smallest one. Let me see, make sure. Because it has to fit, the words need to fit inside that circle. Yes, I used the smallest of the stitch circles for that. And I'll be cutting that one out on camera because I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. And then I use these uh, snowflake sequins and put three of the snowflakes on here. I don't know if you can see those. There, there they are. I can see them, but anyway. So this is a very, very simple card. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I lined up my large image on my Stamparatus where I wanted it on here, like this, and I went ahead and um, stamped this. I'm going to stamp this, and then we're going. I'll show you what we're going to do with it. So we're going to take our, let me do this here. Just to make it easier for stamping, I like to put something underneath there. So let's take our soft suede let's put it on there. Okay, and we're going to stamp this whole thing. And the reason I'm using the Stamparatus is because in case some areas don't get enough ink, we can stamp again, and it'll stamp in the same place. So we'll do that. 
Plus you can stamp several. You can do all this stamping first and you I've got 12 cards cut out. See that's to me that's not dark enough. So we're going to give it more ink. And we're going to stamp it again. Hopefully the second stamping will make it darker. <clears throat> Just like so. See, that's a lot better. Okay, so now we're going to take this off. And we can stamp and stamp and get all of these stamped at once. But we're only going to do one on camera. Then I'm going to take my second plate and I've put the sentiment for the inside and I've already lined it up. Let's put this underneath here. And the two sentiments I'm using are from our home to yours and then with heartfelt wishes for a wonderful season. So then we're going to take the piece for the inside and it's going to go right here I believe and then I've got it lined up where I want it. Turn that over. Add something on it. And put your magnets on there. Stamp this. Now you can stamp your um, cabin and stuff the same way, but because these are um, clean and the the stamps from the other set are photopolymer. I didn't want to stamp them using the same area. Those are easy to stamp. See that? We're going to turn it over. Got to be careful about that because you want to wipe that off because it's going to get on your paper or your image and you don't want that edge on there. So, I'm going to wipe that off. Fortunately, there's two sides to this. So, we'll turn it over and stamp it again. See if we can stamp it without making a mess. Okay, let's try this again. Stamp. already on there. We'll just pretend like you don't see that. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is get this out of the way. I'll clean it after I'm done taping this video. So set that out of our way. Okay. Now we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the cabin using the soft suede. And I used, um, this is very vanilla cardstock. So we're going to stamp that little cabin right there at the bottom. I did my first one with Whisper White, but this cardstock is a little darker than the Whisper White, so I thought the Very Vanilla looked better with it. That was just my opinion. I'm going to stamp the tree. Okay, that's the inside of your card. Okay, and then I did that cabin and tree on the envelope as well. So let's make sure our envelope's right side up. Put our cabin on there. And then the tree. Just like so. Okay. So those pieces are done. Now I took this and I took a foam pad put underneath here because we're going to be using these photopolymer which I should have done with those 
didn't. And we're going to take our birds. And I took the real red and I stamped, so you can see it here. I stamped one bird sitting up here. Or let's put this one down here first. I put one right here by the um, pole. Now you want to do all your stamping first. Because we're going to cut this out with um, that stitched rectangle. And then I put one right here on this branch. Right here. And then I wanted one over here on this pole. So we're going to put him right here. Okay. And then I took my soft suede and I used this pointy tip right here. And we're going to put legs on this bird. That one doesn't need any. And then I'm going to put some on this bird. And then I'm going to give them each an eye. So just a little dot for an eye. Makes them look a little more realistic. And then I took my stamp and blend, and this is like I said, the dark real red. And to add a little bit more color, I just put some red on this ribbon. Now you can certainly add more color, color in more things. I only wanted this bit of color on my um, card. I didn't want to color the whole thing. So I just colored this ribbon. Like so. Okay? Then I took... And I'll put my Stamparatus in here. Not my Stamparatus, but my... Um, emboss cutting and embossing machine. Because we're going, and I'm sorry, it's kind of big looking here. So we're going to take this. Now Stampin' Up! has a magnetic plate. I'm using this magnetic plate that I got with, bought for my um, Big Shot. And it will work for these big dies. I'm using the second to the largest of the stitched, I think. Maybe I use the largest one. Yep. I think I use the largest one. So oh, the whole entire image would fit in there. So you're going to want to put that on there like so. And put it at an angle because... Um, so it doesn't bump through. So put this on here like so. Get everything in the frame. This is why you need to stamp everything first. Like so. And the other thing I did, and I think I can do them both at the same time, is I die cut this out. Just like this. Okay. Looks like that'll work. As long as they're not touching. Oops over there. I don't want to have to tape it if I don't have to. Sometimes it leaves some residue. So we're going to run that through the Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine. Okay. And if it left a hole, but that's okay. We're going to cover it up. So now we're going to pull that out. So remember, this is the large one, the largest of those stitched um, rectangles. And you've got this. And then once you've done this, then you're going to take your ribbon. And I already tied a bow. And what I do is I take this bottle 
and I tie the bow around the bottle like so and then slip it off and then cut it. I cut it in the center because I want this centered on here. So you kind of straighten up your bow a little bit. Make sure it's as tight as you want it. I put a glue dot on the back and then I centered this on my front of my card at the bottom. Just like this. Okay looks like center. And then I took tape and I taped it to the back. Just like so. Okay. When I'm done with this card, I, I got some specials to tell you about. Tomorrow is a stamp, 24 hour stamp sale. And I will have a link in below this video that will take you to my website. Um, and in that website, if you go to the tab that says specials, there will be a link there, or a, a, it's a link, you just open it and it will show you what stamp sets are on sale. And there in the back of the catalog is a um, index. And you can look up each stamp set alphabetically in your catalog to, to order the ones that you don't have. So it's a 15% off sale for 24 hours. This is Balmy Blue, 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4.25. And, and we're just going to glue this to the front of our card. Be careful. Go ahead and put the glue. Now you can use, um, you don't have to use liquid glue. That's just what I like to use. You can use the tape runner glue, whatever. This is just me. And then you're going to center this on the front of your card, just like so. Okay. And you're going to take this that you cut out. And this that you die cut, because I already had it all that die cut out with the second to the largest, second to the smallest of the scalloped circles. I'm going to glue that on here, just like so. Okay. And while that's drying, we're going to put the inside of the card in. Aren't you glad that ca cardstock has two sides? I am. So I'm going to do that to the inside. Now you can dress this up any way you like on the inside. I just thought this was cute. I'm thinking about trying um, embossing on this. I haven't done that yet. Now we're going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm using my edges. And we're going to put those around the outside of this circle. I might put one in the middle. I have a lot of these edges. And after we do this, I think I'll put one in the middle too. Then we're going to add some of these sequins. That was probably the trickiest part for me because I'm trying to use the uh, fine tip glue pen. Sometimes it makes a mess. As hard as I try to keep it from being messy, sometimes it's messy. The other thing that's going on besides the stamp sale tomorrow is the special on signing up as a demonstrator this the month of September get $125 worth of product for $25 or $25 dollars $125 worth of product for $99 and then you also get to you get um, two stamp sets and 
a, a packet of basic rhinestone jewels and enough card stock to make 16 cards. So that is a good deal. So let's get our snowflakes out of here if I can really quickly. Um, and you can find all that information if you click on my on the down arrow and you, it'll take you to my blog um, or you can go directly to my website and all that information is in both of those places. So actually if you go to my blog that there's a link to get to my website as well my online store so we're going to put that on there get this back on here so it doesn't dry up oh i promised to tell you i found out yesterday that my granddaughter what her child is going to be and it's going to be a girl so I'm in the process of making a baby blank crocheting a baby blanket for her and so that takes up some of my time it's um, turning out very beautiful there are stars in here as well as these um, snowflakes but I wanted the snowflakes so let's see if I can get that on there and make it stay One more. There's one. Sometimes it's hard to get a really small amount of glue here, but it dries clear, so I think there's a little bit too much on there. But you can dab it off. There. Okay. And that's your card for today. Like I said, you can Use your Stamparatus and stamp a whole bunch of these. And then it doesn't take very long to put them together once they're all stamped. And I didn't... This is a little lighter than I wanted. This was my first card. So that's the reason I went ahead and put it on the Stamparatus so I could stamp it more than once to get it dark enough. Sometimes it's hard to get it dark. But I'm going to try this technique with um, glitter, and I'm going to try it with um, embossing powder, and just to see the different the variations that I can get with it, and maybe put a gold frame around it if I use gold embossing powder. The possibilities are endless. So I hope you have a fantastic day, and um, remember the stamp sale tomorrow starts tomorrow 15% off tomorrow only and there's 60 stamp sets and you'll if you go to my um, online store there is a link under specials and will not only give you the information for the stamp sale it will give you the information for the get and go starter kit promotion if you want to sign up as a demonstrator and then I also have a host code that's for September, and I'm giving away, um, I've got four of the kerchief card kits, I've got um, three of the Ladybug stamp sets, they're all brand new, and for a $50 order, if you use my host code, you can have your choice of either the Ladybug stamp set or the kerchief card kit. And I had those handy, and now I don't see them. But I was going to show them to you. Oh, there they are. No? Anyway, I don't know where I set them. But anyway, um, I've got seven things to give away, and if they are all given away and more than seven people order $50 on my website then it's first come first serve on them <coughs> and 
I will be giving away a set of rhinestones for anyone else that orders after that. So you have a blessed day and have fun stamping. These are the choices for a $50 purchase. You can either get this card kit. It's the kerchief card kit from Celebration. This is from Celebration and it's the Ladybug stamp set. Never been used. It's a cling. Or the Basic Jewels Rhinestone. Your choice. Like I said, there's three of these and four of these. And then this is the other item. So you have fun stamping and enjoy your day.